My name is Sarah Quinn, and I play in the band Tegan and Sarah, and I chose Jeff Lemire's Essex County to champion for Canada Reads. I absolutely loved Essex County, and I feel that it's the strongest contender for Canada Reads, not just because it's a wonderful book with incredible characters and some wonderful stories that connect over the whole book, connecting the characters. Um, it's, it's also a graphic novel, and, it, and it's, the illustrations are, are so beautiful and so profound and tell a story just within themselves. And uh, I almost think that this, uh, this book, because it's special, because it's sort of a, a, different, a different genre than, um, than, than's ever been on Canada Reads before, I think it's special and I think it, it, it needs to be, it needs to be uh, championed by somebody like me who, who knows, the, knows the genre well, the graphic novel genre well. And, uh, and I think the other books are, are tremendous, but I think this one's the best one. Generally, I fall in love with a book if I start the book and I can't stop reading it, or if I start earmarking a book. I generally know that the book is going to be something that I'll um, potentially go back to again. Um, and then I know I really love a book if I call people and try to read out loud from the book to them. And it's some sort of genetic thing I caught from my mother, because I know she does that as well. And um, I sort of hate myself for doing it because it's overly sentimental and I generally end up crying. But I, if I'm really, really touched by a book, um, I, I, I usually need to share it with someone. I generally read everywhere. I read on the bus, I read on airplanes, I read in my bunk on the tour bus when we're touring, I read in the mall, I read at the doctor's office. I pretty much can just open a book anywhere and um, isolate myself and, and I feel like it's a really great defense mechanism and people don't try to talk to you if you have a book with you. Sometimes I'm not even reading, sometimes I'm just going like this, I don't even, I'm not even really reading. But uh, my favorite place to read, my absolute favorite place to read is in Montreal. I have an apartment in Montreal and I have this wonderful bedroom and it's very soothing and there's books everywhere. I also have like 3,000 comic books and it's basically my library in my home and I get into the bed and I start reading and days pass. I haven't eaten. It's just, it's just my favorite place to read. It's perfectly quiet and comfortable and it's the perfect lighting and it's absolutely where I like to read most. If a book was written about my life, I have a sneaking suspicion that it would need to include Tegan in the title because much of my life has been spent with Tegan, who is my sister, who I'm also in a band with, who also looks sort of like me. And so as much as I would want it to be a book about me selfishly, um, I, have a, I have a feeling that the, tr the, the, the truest, most uh, realistic answer is that it would be some kind of biography about me and Tegan. So I'm going to go with Tegan and Sarah. Pretty awesome life, dot, 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 or something like that. Mm -hmm.